Hey everybody. So I am back on my walk again. I don't have too much to say today. You know, I did want to say, you know, you got to watch your kids. You really have to watch your kids in these days and age cuz that's who they're after. That's what I was thinking about. That's what this whole thing is really about. It's about the kids. It's not about about the adults. Because when you think about it, you know, the kids are the one that's really oops, the kids are the one that's really falling for the um for the bait, hook, line, and sinker, you know, with all of the you know, the stuff that goes on. It's really like I would say between the ages of um, 10 to about, you know, to you, to you grown enough to make your own decisions is really who, who they, who they, um, trying to catch with all this propaganda, and all of this foolishness that they got going on, you know, but you know, that's just people on the run, you know, they run into and fro. You know, they hiding because they know they know what season it is, they know what time it is. I like spring. I love spring. What I don't like about spring is the bugs. I don't like it because of that very reason. Um a lot of mosquitoes are out, you know. But other than that I love the weather. The climate is just very beautiful this season. I hope that y'all have started eating y'all's unleavened bread. You know, I've been trying to do it this whole entire month. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for eating, you know, unleavened bread, things like crackers and, and whatever I, I roll up and make. Um, so, yeah, this is... This is that time. This is Passover, getting to be Passover Friday. So I hope y'all got y'all stuff together for that. Um, and you've made your plans for eating, for what you're gonna eat, and all that good stuff. Um. So yeah, that's what it's really all about. It's about the kids. And so we got we have really have to be watchful of our kids, you know, because this is not you know. What I was thinking about is they have my 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 oldest son goes to school. You know, I could I could teach him homeschool him, but I tried that when COVID first started and he he's a real socialite he likes to be around kids his own age and that's my number one reason of, of keeping him or taking him back to school was that plus the discipline he's not disciplined enough or maybe i'm not disciplined enough to keep him on an accurate um schedule as far as his homework and stuff like that and he's very slick he knows my weaknesses and he knows what he can get away with so I really don't feel like if I homeschooled him, he would be on bar with everything that he needs to do as far as schoolwork is concerned. So that's why I've not homeschooled him so far. But the amount of work they give these kids, it's crazy. He's eight years old. And I mean, he's got math homework that is, you know, harder than most 13 year olds, you know, it's crazy. It's, it's getting to the point where kids aren't even able to be kids anymore. Kids are being adults. Like, so we have a bunch of kids in our community. And I see, a lot of times I see them coming home from school, playing with their their um, friends and they know so many curse words already 
these kids are not kids they are full grown ass people you know little little six seven year olds cursing and talking to their kids and i know i was bad you know but i know i was bad too i was i was bad too but it's it's almost like it's getting worse you know and that's just what the enemy wants you know they they want these kids to grow up to come out of the womb grown you know they don't that's that's who he's on the attack for right now because he's trying to take the kids because that he knows that's where the most high's heart truly lies in so you got to be watchful of your kids especially in these days and age because i'm telling you little 13 14 year olds it's not it wouldn't be any surprise to me if if you see some of them down in the pits you know i'm gonna just be straight up with you because that's that's um who the enemy is is really gunning for to destroy you know as early as early as possible that's why i say all this propaganda and stuff like that that is it's specifically more specifically aimed for the kids because if you grown you grown you not already made your choice it's a lot of grown children out here in the world that's falling for it too you know and and that's just you being a fool that's just fool's play but they really gunning for the kids but it's a lot of grown ass kids out here a lot of grown folks masquerading as children you know that ain't got all their stuff together ain't got their buckets uh, stacked in a row you know mentally and otherwise my arms are getting tired i'm sorry y'all i'm trying to lose this gut but i don't think i'm gonna lose it because i don't want to change up my eating habits <laughs> you know I, I like to eat i like to go out and enjoy and i don't think that's gonna change so i don't i don't really think my my um midsection gonna change and i'm not you know i'm not stressed about it you know I'm not too stressed about that. As long as I'm staying active and doing what I need to do, that's all I'm worried about. But yeah, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. So I'm gonna go finish up this walk, get in the gym and try to do a little bit before I go eat, <laughs> before I go eat again. That's why I'm not too concerned about losing this midsection, baby. If it stay, it stay. I'ma enjoy my life and I'ma eat what I wanna eat and do what I wanna do, but I'ma I'ma do it responsibly, you know. I'ma work out first before I enjoy this meal. <laughs> but anyway, peace, love, light. Y'all already know what it do and what it is over here. So yeah, to add to that, I, I had my headphones in and, you know, I'm sure there wasn't any sound to what I just said, but I'm adding to what I was saying because why I was talking about um, watch your kids is because my eight-year-old um, got in trouble. I got, got in trouble because I found that he was hiding his math homework specifically underneath one of our, in our, one of our kids' um, bedrooms underneath um the bed or you know the pull out futon that we have in there and i was doing some spring cleaning and i caught it and so of course he got in trouble you know i, I tapped this little butt and um took his tablet away and now he's under restrictions and all that stuff but you know after doing some some self-reflection too it's just like you know why would he do that it's kids just want to be kids you know you go to school all day you do all that learning and stuff like that and then just to have to come home and do more homework and this is pretty hard math homework you know right now he's learning inches and centimeters and and how to measure and all that stuff and i'm sure he didn't want to do it you know in a lot of ways he's a lot like his mama <laughs> he's a lot like me i was really bad like that it got to the point where I was even like, you know, 
I got like really technical to where I could even like go on a computer whenever I got my report card and white out, you know, the bad grades and a way to, you know, type over to make it look like, you know, this was my real, my real um, grade or whatever. So I had gotten really smart with that kind of stuff. So, but you know, that's just self-reflection on me that, you know, I, I didn't, I just wanted to be a kid, you know, <laughs> like, and that's what kids want to be. I understand that, you know, in life, you need to learn self-discipline. Even if the system wasn't built like it is currently, you know, you still, you would still need to find ways to find food for yourself, find shelter for yourself, you know, all that good stuff you would still need to do. But, you know, this system is just, you know, it forces you to grow up really fast. And, you know, the amount of work that these kids have to do, I just don't think that is right. You know, kids aren't really um, being promoted to be kids, you know. They are being promoted to grow up really fast. I don't think that's necessarily right. You know, you've got to implement some fun in there as well. And I think that's what a lot of these schools are missing because they're constantly testing these kids test after test after test after test. It's not fun, you know, and then you have to come home um, and then, you know, study and do the same stuff over, you know. It's like no life. Um, but that's all I wanted to tell y'all. Um, that's the last little bit. Y'all already know what it is over here. Peace, love, light.